Debbie Childress with the Grayson County Alliance. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about a fundraiser coming up, Empty Bowls. We do this fundraiser because there are one in six Grayson Countyans struggling with food insecurity. That means they don't have enough food for every member in their household to have a safe and healthy, happy life. So here at the Food Pantry, we work every day to combat hunger. So we're serving over 700 families a month with basic food support, but we couldn't do that without your help. So there's nothing more fun than to get together with friends or your family and have a paint party because you're spending time together, you're enjoying a fun activity, but you're helping us at the food pantry. So uh, we have here some bowls that were done previously by community members and they're completely different and they're all wonderful. And the great news is each one of these bowls will go on sale at our empty bowls on February the 21st. Uh, for $25 and every one of these bowls represents about a hundred meals for the food pantry. So a simple act of fun and fellowship creating a donated bowl for the food pantry makes a huge impact. So if you want to join the fun the first thing you need to do is call the food pantry at 270-259-4000 and register your, your paint party with us so we know how many bowls to expect from your party. So for your paint party you're going to need a blank bowl and we purchased these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you may find other sources for those but they're simply a dollar. Make sure you take the sticker off the bottom. I always have to use my hair dryer to heat that up enough to come off and then you're going to wash your bowl in advance and uh, you'll need some supplies handy. So what I have here today is a little cup of water, a few paint brushes, I have some rubbing alcohol and a paint palette uh, to pour my paints onto and then I have a selection of the porcelain paints that we use. Now you can't use acrylic paints on these bowls. Uh, you really need to use the porcelain paints or maybe you're like Beth and you're using Sharpie markers. Uh, and the Sharpie markers will heat set just like the porcelain paints. So starting my process, I took some time to go online and use my Pinterest account and uh, Googled some images for bowls. Then this was kind of my inspiration for where I might go in designing my bowl. And some of these were done with Sharpies as well. So I'm gonna prepare my palette. I've already chosen my color selections. I'm just using some four simple colors. And here's the good news. If you make a mistake, if you're like me, you will. If you make a mistake and you don't like it, even if you're using a Sharpie, uh, Beth can even gonna, show I'm you. I'm actually gonna demonstrate it. I do not like that Sharpie. And right, she so. can just take a little rubbing alcohol and put it right on her bowl and it will rub it right out. Take a paper towel and just, or cotton ball, dampen it and just wipe the inside of your bowl so that the oil from your hands or your fingerprints don't end up in your pattern. So the porcelain paints and the Sharpie markers set at the same temperature. So you put your bowls in uh, uh, middle of the oven cold, turn your oven to 300 degrees and let it set for about 20 minutes at 300 degrees. You can go as long as 30 minutes, then turn your oven off and just let it cool down. So now that your bowls are completed and the fun is done, you're not done yet. We need your bowl to come to the food pantry. So give us a call at 270-259-4000 to schedule a time to drop off your bowls. And we have a deadline, February the 4th. That way we can be able to promote the bowls that you're presenting.